Lori Wired here, Wired Lady TV, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, sometimes five minutes late, that happens. Uh, today I had a special request uh, for squirrels from uh, Princess Cool Girls. So we've been working on animals for the last uh, few weeks, done quite a few different ones, raccoons, possums, um, all kinds of things. So you guys can always search my channel if you're looking for specific uh, designs. Hi Amber, first one on, how are you? And uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be making squirrels. And so what I've done was I made a printout. Uh, these ones, I actually have a Canva Pro account. So if there are any graphic uh, artists or people that wanna make graphics for their own business, I highly recommend a Canva um, for doing all you know kinds of graphics, posters, thumbnails for YouTube. Uh, this is not sponsored by Canva in any means, but I've been using it for years and I upgraded to Pro so I could do all kinds of different things and there's all kinds of free, uh, copyright free clip art on that channel that you can use. So hi Mirta, how are you? So today we're gonna to be making squirrels and I also want to announce that we are launching Live Wires for the Win. So if you guys aren't familiar with Live Wires for the Win, I'm gonna link up in the description last year uh, last year we had an eight, eight week elimination series where we had wire art cha challenges each week. We had uh, 10 uh, participants uh, and uh, the winner was Tim. So that was awesome. And Tim won $500 worth of Beetle on uh, products and some other things. So this year um, we're uh, shrinking down the uh, series a little bit, just so it's a little bit more doable for everybody. So it's going to be a six week elimination series called Live Wires for the Win Season 2. The application form is available. I will pop the link in the chat uh, for the people on the chat get the sneak preview of applying for the Live Wires for the Win. We have a limited number of places. And um, if, you, if you applied last year, you can apply again, no problem at all. And so I'll put all the information for that and the call for entry video is gonna be coming out tomorrow. So, uh, so look out for that. If you wanna participate in Live Wires for the Win, doesn't matter how much experience you have. Uh, it's not for professional jewelry makers by any means. It's just to give everybody a uh, opportunity to showcase their work and to learn new things. So that's super exciting. So I'm gonna flip the screen so I can see your guys' comments and we're gonna get started making the squirrels. So I'll just put the paper over here and then you guys can let me know if it's well centered on the um, live stream. I'm gonna come around and sit at my table and pull it up on the computer and we are going to get started. So let me just open up my computer, go to the videos and see who is on. So we have 12 people so far. Hi, ah, Amber, I said hi. I said hi to Mirta and Nete. Hello, hello. So let me go ahead and see where we're at here. Refresh my screen so we're on the same page. And there we go. So we should be good. Yes, so you guys can see this. These, this is actually clip art, copyright free clip art from Canva. So I'm gonna be using these as a basis for the shape. You guys can do the same thing if you're making uh, different wire art and jewelry designs. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to trace them to get the what you want, the shapes that you want. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Connie. So squirrels, and that was a request from Princess Cool Girl. I wrote their name there. So, and now I have my light board. I'm getting more and more organized every week, guys. So we're gonna turn on the light board. And I'm going to put some of these on here and just to trace the shapes. Now you can just do them by eye if you want, or if you tra want to trace the shapes, you can go ahead and do that. So there we go. Actually, Mimi took a really cute picture of a chipmunk. Amber, you might've seen it. Her uh, regular photography account is on private, but she does post them sometimes on her Facebook. So there we go. So here's just how we're gonna trace these to trace the shapes. So you can go ahead and get a like a photo and then go ahead and trace the shapes you need. It's just like a lot cuter when you can actually get the exact shape. So at least to practice a little bit and then you can just use your creative license with it. So we're just gonna get like a little idea of how it would go. 
And then after, like I said, you can use your creative license and we're gonna put that there. Although we're gonna to have to figure out a way to get the eye in there without, you know, having it uh, kind of freestanding there. So now, uh, they uh, Canva also has a more like line drawing type thing. So you can go ahead and just like use some of their line drawings, um, all kinds of clip art on there that you can use to trace shapes or you can just draw your own shape. So it just it's just a good exercise to sketch some things out first and then you can just like kind of do your own thing with it you can also like put something like in a circle say you wanted to put something in a circle you can like just have the circle and then put the squirrel inside that's another idea I would consider this to be like a warm-up exercise and then from there you do what you want and you don't have to like make it perfect this one is super interesting too this is like an origami style and then this I love too with the kind of a decorative style as well so you can do that type of thing you can do a squirrel that's more like a side view kind of walking like this is a nice shape make sure I got that on here so we're just going to do a couple of these and then I'm just going to go ahead and do them in wires so this is just a good way to get started this one is behind so you do like a little kind of line here to represent that it's actually behind there to give it a little bit of dimensionality so you can go there and then I'm going to check some comments after so we've got that and then you can make a, a squirrel like holding a nut you could do one jumping and then there's this type of thing that's much more stylized so you can do that type of thing too where you go in and you can just do it like how you like so maybe you went it would go in there and up and then maybe you want to even give it more detail and do a spiral down there. It's an idea. And then this one too, you could do like that type of thing. You could even do like a little spiral. I mean, the sky is the limit to what you can do. So that, that gives us a little idea. Maybe we'll do one more with him like jumping because that's super cute too. So we could do like a little jumping one and then we're going to go from there. So yeah, so if you if you guys need clip out clip art, it's canva.com. So C-A-N-V-A dot com. And you can get all kinds of clip art there. And um, and then I just lay a bunch of these out on a sheet and print them out. So there's we're good, we're gonna get started. Let me just check who is on the chat here. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so we have uh, Mirta is and still here and Adler and Nette and Connie. Yeah, everybody's here. Good. With the spirals is cool, eh? Yeah. So let's just get started making some things. And um, I'm going to just, if you're wondering like why I have a band-aid on there, it's because I think I got um, poison ivy. So I'm just keeping it covered up so I don't spread it anywhere. I was at my parents' cottage the other day and I think I got some some kind of poison ivy thing. So I'm sorry to have to like show the my band-aid. If I do this, hopefully the sleeve will stay down. So there we go. So now let's just go ahead and make some stuff. And last time we used this really beautiful antique brass wire. So I'm going to use that. I really like it. And uh, we'll just get started with that. So let's go ahead. Uh, Connie says the squirrel is your um, niece's favorite animal. That's so cool. Nice. Good. Okay. Fluff, fluff tastic tail. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, and, and we have a new person hopping on. Hello. Hello. I wish I could pronounce your name, but appreciate the hearts and the, uh, and the smiley face emoji. Thank you so much. So let's just cut a long piece of wire. It's always better to be too long than too short. So we'll just go ahead and cut that. And also what I want to do is I'm just gonna pull up, because I promised the about the Cognito form to apply for live wires for the wind. So what I'm gonna do now is also get the link to that. So here we go. And if you guys are hopping on, let me, let me put it in the chat now. Uh, hi Nancy, looking forward to more wire art lessons. Yes, we're making squirrels live today. So here, I'm gonna put in the chat, live wires for the win application. So you guys are the first to receive this application. I'm gonna pop it in the chat. I'm gonna pin it to the top. 
And then if anybody wants to apply for Live Wires for the Win, which is our six week elimination series, uh, you can go ahead and apply today. The deadline is uh, September 10th. So you have two weeks to apply for that. And I'm really excited about it. Uh, Sharon participated last year. Uh, Tim uh, uh, was the winner last year. Peggy also participated, so that was cool. And Psycho Girl, oh, you're very welcome. So now let's just go ahead and get started. This guy's super cute too, I really like him. So maybe I'll just start with him. That's a, a more unusual shape, but I really like that one. So let's just get some, this one's got like more pointy areas. So for the more pointy areas, I would use the um, these pliers, the, the um, Zuron uh, tweezer nose pliers. So we can go ahead and just bend that here. And then if you want, you can even somewhat trace the shape. So say you go down here, that would be like the top of the ear. Go down here a bit and then bring this one out and just bring it out here. Yeah, you could, if you want, you can just like totally trace the shape and bring that out. And he's got like a little pointy nose. We're gonna get our Zeron pliers again. And then if you're tracing the shape, just rotate it as you go and just rotate it around and then that one maybe i'll get the round pliers for that so bring that one out and around here and we're going to bring this one bend it out here this is more like an outline thing now if you want to give the impression that this is actually behind what i do for that is i would take this and then where you want to bend it there, I just bend it that way back. And then we can just make this one more pointy. I like the way it's pointy. And we're going to curve it out like that. So that would be like one paw. And then we want to go back upon itself. So we're going to go back upon itself that way. That gives the impression that it's behind and if you need it more wide, just push it up a little bit there. You can always do that. And then you bring it back and then we're gonna bring it here. And this is more like curved out. So we're gonna curve that one out a bit, bring that one here. And then we can do a nice sharp bend here too. So it's got, we've got the two paws. It's very stylized, like it's not super detailed, but it's like kind of stylized with these pointy a pause type of thing. And then we're gonna bring this one around, bring this one up here, and we can just curve it out again. We want this one to be quite whimsical and with nice loose lines. We're gonna bring this one out here, around here, and kind of like around and then around here, and then bend this one down straight down and then what i do after the live stream is i'll put together some templates if you guys want to download them they'll be in my etsy diy shop and you can um, uh, print out the actual templates that i'm using today and you can print them out in different sizes if you like too so you can uh, have if you want to make this smaller for more like an earring you can do that as well so if we're going to bring this one here and then this one we're just going to bring like up this way, curve it. And then if we wanna bend it back on itself, we're just gonna decide at what height we want that sort of leg to stop. And then we're just gonna bend it back upon itself down. And then we can curve it out again. I've cut this wire way too long, but I'll use the rest for something else. So we're gonna bring this one around, curve it. Okay, and bring it back. And let's see if I'm missing Anyone comment? Uh, Amber posted the group to the uh, the link to the Wire Makers Club. Thank you so much, Amber. So if you guys aren't already a member, you can um, you can join the Wire Makers Club and share your wire art and jewelry and get inspired by others. Uh, hi, Marion. And Sharon says, uh, yeah, Sharon was on last year, and uh, I wouldn't say you were kicked off, Sharon. We we definitely had to. Um, the nature of the competition or the series was just to. Have one person leave each week, otherwise there would be no end to the competition, but your work was absolutely beautiful. And for sure you can you can apply to participate again. That would be awesome. And um, 
there we go. So let's just keep going with this. Yeah, there was some really, really beautiful work last year. It was very, very hard um, deciding who went home each week. So, But that's the nature of that type of show, right? So I think when we join uh, uh, shows like that, we understand that that's the nature of it. And uh, this year we're going to try to possibly have more participants and um, have two people uh, that would go home each week. But we, it's really going to depend on how many people apply. But we've got some great prizes, so hopefully we'll get lots of people. And um, it's going to be very, very fun. So now we're going to do this one here. Bring that one here. And we're going to bend that one up. Bend this one up and curve it around here. And then curve it around the little butt. So there we go. That way and that way up here. And then we're going to just... Bend this one down. Let's make sure it's in a good position. Yep, bend this one down here. And bring this one that way and that way. This uh, artistic wire is very nice and very easy to bend. It's like sculpting with wire, which is super nice. So there we've got that one. It's copper and it comes in many, many colors. So we've got to go around here and... Bring this one around. It's like drawing in the, with wire. That's why I love wire, wire because I was trained as a graphic artist. So this is uh, really fun for me to be able to draw with wires. So we're gonna curve it around, just do it by hand. Bring that one to there. And then once that joins here, just take it at that intersection and bend it up and down like that. So we're gonna go down like that and up okay up like that so we've got like that shape and then we need it to attach like for the ear so let's just make sure this is somewhat lined up so that's pretty good so now we've got the basic shape uh Nettie says i just got those around pliers and love them that's awesome mm -hmm. just gonna have a sip of water and so now we're gonna just attach this. Now the hard part is gonna be being able to attach this in a way that it actually holds together. So let's do that. I'm trying to keep it silhouette -y. otherwise I could have twisted it around there, but I wanna keep it pretty simple. So if we go like that and then up kind of like that type of thing, that should work like that. So now what we're going to do is bend this one across here and then bend this one help it with the pliers maybe we want to put this one on top though if we put that one on top and then we're going to take this one help it with the pliers just around here that way it doesn't get distorted and we're going to just bring this one around here like that and then I'm going to give it a little clip and then I can reuse that little piece of wire. No problem. And from there, let's just make sure it's in a good position. It's not too bad. That'll be like the ear type of thing. And then this one, we can bend that way and bring this one around. And what we're gonna have to do is actually catch that wire. Otherwise it's gonna be like going up and down. So let's take this one, bring it to the back Let's bring it all the way around to the back here. So we have our loop, and then we're gonna hold this and bring this one around here. And we're gonna bring it around in between those two wires to hold it in place. We're just gonna sneak that little wire in between those two, and it's gonna hold it in place. So that's another little hack. And we're gonna clip that, give it a little clip, and we're going to pinch that in place. And then we can push these up a little more to bring that up a bit. And there we have, so it just finishes up like that. So it's super cute, very stylized. And then we can bring that one in here. And if for whatever reason your wire is too soft, you can always get a raw hide mallet and just give it a little hammer. So there is our little jumping squirrel. It's not the one I expected to start with, but he's really cute. So there's one idea, the silhouette of the squirrel. 
Connie says the tweezer nose are the next ones I'm getting. Yeah, they're fantastic. I love these pliers. That was thanks to Ginger that, that um, hooked me up with that brand. So I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So time for a sip. And then now let's look at these again. So why don't we just do a little standing up guy because they're so cute. And maybe I'll use a brown color for that. And I'm going to try to eyeball this one because I want to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to take this and, and the idea of putting like a little acorn or nut in his, in his paws would be super cute too. So let me just remove that so it's not distracting. And I will also do the spiral one because that one's super cute. So let's go ahead and get this and just decide where we want to finish it. Maybe we could even finish it in the paws. Sometimes it's really hard to know where to finish the wire. And we're going to bring this one in and we can even put like a little eye on it if we want to as well. Sometimes it might be easier to draw it out first. So let me just get my pencil. So say we are going to um, do something like that. So if we're gonna do something like that, we can, I can even go in to this sketch and, and work on it. So. If we go here and up like that, and then this one was like kind of back and up like that, and around, and say this one is okay, we're gonna come around here, and then that way, and then back, because the key is doing like one piece of wire, right? So we're gonna bring that one up and back around here. So we could finish it there, or, I mean, we can also like do like a little, try to do like a little nut on there or something. So say you wanted to do something, I'm just like troubleshooting here. So if we went down there and did like a little, you could even do it with the same wire or a bead or something. But say we did do that and we brought it up here. And I'm just trying to see the best way to do this because this one you can almost like bring up. That's his nose though, so I don't know if that would be... That doesn't look, I should probably get an eraser too because I'm not sure I want to do it that way. So let's just erase it. And then we can like, say if we did like even a little nose thing or something, you don't have to do the nose and we could bring it up. Like that would be more like the mouth thing. Yeah, I guess you could do something like that and then maybe bring it back down again. So there's that idea, but there's also the idea of just like simply doing an eye like that, which might be like easier. So there's a few different routes you can go. Um, and then you can also do like a bead for the eye as well. So, and some of my previous live streams will show how to do like little animals with their eyes and stuff. So you can always reference some of those other uh, videos as well. So say we wanted to do maybe a little I'm not going to do an eye on this one. I think I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to keep this so it will be like around the, the place where the hands are or the paws. And let's just start with the ears. So we're going to take this one here and I'm going to just bring this one up. I guess I'll do the two ears. I could or I could just do one so many decisions, eh? It's really, um, it's really tricky sometimes deciding what you want to do. And it's just a matter of just trying and just to see how it goes. So say I did want to do two, we would do the one sort of towards the back. And then the other one, you could do like this way. And then if I don't, if I decide I don't like the way it's going, I'll just stop and uh, start again. I don't mind doing that. So we're going to take that, bring that one there. Didn't end up being very pointy, but that's okay. And then we're gonna take this one, bring it around and then back down. But do I like how that's going? No, I don't love how that's going. So let's just cut it and start again. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna just, this is probably gonna get too small now. I'm gonna just try it very, very simple silhouette, how one of the, like the other ones was. So we're gonna bring this one up this way actually. And I'm going to take this one, curve it around. Hopefully my wire is long enough now. And then around here. 
and then down. So we're gonna bring this one actually more down, I think. Yeah, sometimes it's very tricky getting, getting the shapes right. And then this one down. I can almost fix that after. I just don't wanna make it too, too big. So we're gonna bring this one around here and around here. And I like the idea of doing a fluffy tails too. So I'll definitely try one with like a fluffy tail. Sometimes I feel like, you know, when I start these, I'm just kind of warming up because sometimes it really takes a while to get in the groove of it and to figure out what you want to do. So you guys know by watching my live streams in the past that there's a lot of troubleshooting that's involved with it. So there's like the sort of a stylized tail around here. Bring this one around here and then around this way. And then we want to start doing some little legs. So we're going to take this, take these pliers and there we go. So we're going to take this, take this that way. Oops, snap. We'll bring that that way and this way and around. So that would be like the one foot. I should have made it maybe a little further along there, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it. And we're going to bring this one down here and around here. So that would be like the the one little foot there and we're gonna bring it back on itself and maybe get some smaller pliers to bring this out here. So this would be like the first part. Now, if you do wanna do the other foot, take this and just kind of mirror what you did with the first one out that way and around. So that would be, this foot doesn't look very big. Maybe we just need to make it Give it a little bit more definition. I think I didn't make the foot long enough. So there's another little foot. He's gonna be a little chubby guy. He's cute. So now we're gonna get that. And now from there, we need the paw. So the paw, we're just going to bring this one to the front. I mean, you don't have to do this little bit going into the middle. You can just like go right ahead and bend out the paw. But sometimes it's nice to give it a little bit of definition like that. So we're going to bring this one up and then bring this one out to form. This will form kind of the paw like that. So I'm going to leave it for now. We're going to see what we can do about this. This part here, his ears may be a little bit big but maybe we can adjust that a bit. So let's bring this one back and bring the ear out maybe a little bit like that. Yeah, because the ear got a little bit big. And then from here, we can do the eye. We can just do it with, I'm just gonna do it with, with the um, wire, I think, to start. Or you can also do a silhouette with no eye. Either Either one is fine. So if you did the eye like that, if it's too big, just like wiggle it out a little bit so it looks a little bit smaller. Actually, this kind of gives the impression that it's more inside too. That's interesting because rather than have it look like it's right at the top there, if you wiggle it around, it looks like it kind of like brings it down into the face a little bit. So that was a little happy accident. And then maybe I can just bring this one up a little bit like that and then down. So. Yeah, that's cool. And so now we're gonna form the nose. Oh, got a little squinty. So let me just do, do that one down there. You can play around with it to see. Okay, so Yunsi, hello, hello. Now we're going to, yes, you finished all the challenges uh, after the fact. So that's awesome, Sharon. And anybody want, that wants to, even if you're not participating in Live Wires for the win, you can still, uh, do the challenges and share your work in the wire makers club or, or, um, or on social media, if you'd like, that's not a problem at all. We're not having an official like thing like we did last year where people can also share their work, but if you want to participate and share your work as well, you're more than welcome. I'm going to actually bring this to the back. I'm trying to keep the show as, as simple as possible. Cause last year, I think there was a little confusion about, you know, uh, how it was set up. So uh, hopefully everything, we've worked out all the quirks this year and it should go really smoothly. So we've got this one here. 
bring that down for the little face. And then we're just going to bend this out on itself again, where we bend it back on itself. So now we're stuck with the ends, right? So what are we gonna do? So this is where I was thinking that maybe we can just finish the paws and have like a little nut or something in the paw. So that's always the challenge with the wire art. You could have finished it at the top to do a little loop. Uh, if you could, sometimes you could finish at the bottom and do a little like stand if you want it to stand up. So there's always lots of different um, possibilities for what you can do. So now we're gonna bring this and bring this one around so it looks like a paw. And I will get this one, we can maybe fix the shape as well. So if we take this, it's looking a little bit funny, but I think we can maybe deal with that. So we're gonna bring that one around and bring that one around here. So what would happen if I made it like in a, in a way that it was holding like a little nut? We're gonna to have to see how that would work. So this is gonna come up and out to form like the, it's there's something funny happening here and I'm not, exactly sure why but maybe if we kind of put this more sideways it might look better yeah I think it's more better that way because that way it's not like kind of underneath there so let's try it this way I think that was the issue there's when I, I bent it back on itself it just didn't look right so if we do it this way and bend it out that way it should look better I think that looks a little bit better and then we want this to be able to form, uh, to either to hold a nut or an acorn or something like that. I just have to figure out, let me just get a bead to see wh where we can go with this. Oh, uh, hi Rui, how are you? Uh, the weekly challenges. Yeah, I haven't done a challenge challenge in a while, like the um, 10 day challenges. So after Live Wires for the win, after that wraps up, I'll do a regular 10 day challenge that everybody can participate in. I used to do more of them, but I, I just run out of time. I just do not have the hours in the day. So uh, we'll definitely do one of those after Live Wires for the win. And in the meantime, you guys can participate with Live Wires for the win. So here's the idea of doing like a little nut or something. It doesn't really look like a nut. I really like the idea of doing an actual acorn I guess you could do that with a different piece of wire or something that might be interesting um, if you guys have any ideas for the acorn just let me know because you could do like a little thing and put a little cap on it or something so why don't we just start by finishing the paws so we're going to finish the paws I'm going to bring this one like up I guess like that and then maybe bend this one straight out so if we bend that one straight out, and then this one, we want to bring this one around to finish it up. Yeah, so these are gonna be, this will be like the little, just the little paw. So let's do that. We're gonna just finish that one up. Amber is on cloud nine. I think I'm missing a whole bunch of conversations. That's okay. I like it when you guys chat. So as long as you, just, you stay more or less on topic, uh, that is wonderful. So now we're just going to pinch that one in and there we go. So that looks pretty cute. It's the, the little squirrel with holding something. So we're gonna see what he's holding. And, but the shape is good. The design's pretty good. So where you have it finishing on the paws and then from there, that's the that's the key. What do we want to do? If we want to do like a little, it doesn't really look super like a nut. Uh, let me just put this at the side and see what I can, maybe even a larger bead. What color are acorns anyways? Here's like a little orange one. That might be a little too big. Or maybe I can do it out of a different color wire like gold. Let me see a bead with a cap. Oh, okay. Who said that? Uh, Connie said a bead with a cap. So let me see if I have any bead caps. That's actually a brilliant idea. So let's see what I have. I'm not sure I have anything handy, but I might be able to find something in my metal beads. So let me go look in my metal beads. I love that idea. So let me see what I got 
and my metal beads. They might all be too big, but I might be able to find something. And if I can't find something now, I could probably find something later. So here are my metal beads, all pretty well organized. Gotta open this up. Brown and tan, cool, cool. Okay, so what have we got in my tickle trunk of beads? So aren't these nice? These are a lot of these beads are from my friend Mine, who used to, I used to sell jewelry on the street with her in Montreal. And then every winter she would travel. So she traveled like to Colorado and Vancouver and all over the place. And she would give me her leftover beads at the end of the summer. And going to her apartment was always fun. You couldn't walk across her living room floor because it was like covered in beads, like insane. Um, but uh, yeah, she, she's still selling jewelry on Etsy, which is cool. Now this is great, but it's too big, like way too big, but I'm gonna keep that for another time. I actually am uh, scheduled to go to my bead supply store. This is interesting too, but it's too big. Uh, I'm going to my bead supply store soon, so I'll have to find some bead caps. I was actually near one of my bead supply stores yesterday, and I'm like, I don't need anything, so I did not go in. But, okay, this one's not too bad, too. It's not curved, but this might be our only option to do, like, a little spacer bead, um, because I'm not sure I have any bead caps that are small enough. I'm still looking, guys. Oh, this one's cute too. This one's not too bad. They look like little happy faces. So there's that one. Oh, I bet Allison would have beads in her trunk in my back room. So I can always go and look there. Um, I don't know if there would be anything or not. I think I'm not gonna take the time to do that. I don't wanna burden you guys with that. So let me just see what I can do. I'll check Allison's stuff later and Oh, so someone popped on that I don't know how to pronounce their name, but they sent a beautiful heart emoji, which is really lovely. So this is interesting. What, what would happen if we did like a miracle bead with that little cap? It looks more like a hat. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that too small? That's probably too small. So here's one option. And let me get another wire to see if we have another option. So there's the little one. And there's like a bigger bead with the cap here. It's more orange, but it's not too, neither of those look much like a acorn. You guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna see if there's something else that could go on top of that. Maybe a little, you'd also need a little gold bead or something, because this should be rounded on top. That's the only problem I see there. So impressionistic enough to work so the, with the little one do you think amber or the big one like the the little one's actually not bad i find the big one's maybe too big i think you're right that you get the impression that it's a that it's an acorn so what if we i think it should be bent up a little bit though to be more horizontal i mean it's it's cute let me double double check there's nothing in here like a little tiny gold bead or something that could go on a wood, wooden bead. Ooh, a wooden bead is actually a really good idea. I don't know if I have any handy. I might. I do like that idea. I love that idea, actually, the wooden bead. I've got little crimps, but they're too small. I had some little tiny round, <coughs> sorry, gold beads. Um, can I find any? That's the thing. You've got these interesting little brass beads, actually. Those are cute. Um, but I'm just thinking, I, I know I had some little tiny gold beads, little circles that might work, but I'm trying to find, this is another gold bead, but that's probably too, no, that's not even gold, so that's not going to work. But, oh, here, that's what I'm thinking of, but I, it might be too small. So, let me move that. So, I have this little tiny gold bead, but it might be too small. It actually might not even fit on my 20 gauge wire, so that's an issue. Yeah, ooh, aw, it doesn't fit. No, that's not gonna fit. That would have been pretty good though, so that's not gonna fit. Hi, Sandra, I can't do squirrels. Aw, squirrels are fun. 
So like there's this little one as well. I'm just gonna put it on here to see what it looks like. This is more of a, cause that's, I mean, that's another idea. Ashley, what do you like better? There's this one that's like a metal bead. And then there's the miracle bead. So what do you guys like better? The metal bead or the miracle bead? Let me know. Oh, and the other thing we could do, okay, so there's that. And then the other thing, we're spending far too much time on these acorns, but let me see, there's another thing we could do. And there's, this one has green on top. Are they green on top? That one has green on top. So, ooh, the metal one. Okay, so let's try to see what the metal one's doing. Okay, so we're going to put the metal one. The other thing was I was thinking was I could actually do a um, a wire cap, which might be good. So there, that's kind of cute. We could just do that. But what I'm thinking is maybe we should just dangle it down or something. Okay, let me try something else because I don't know if it works better that way or down this way. So we're going to go put the cap here and this one here and maybe hanging down would be better like like right down like that might be better it's like not hanging super i don't know if hanging down or dangling down might be cute too if we dangled it down it's, oh gosh there's too many too many things to think about i'm just going to look for this one thing i have to take off my sweater cuz it's warm so Connie says, I think they can be green when they're fresh off the tree. So maybe another, I'll do green for another one. I just want to grab a little metal crimp here. This is a little metal crimp that might be able to form the thing on top, but I'm not sure. So you guys let me know if it should dangle or if it should just be in the squirrel's paws. So, cause we could do either way and see, hi, Christina. And Sandra. Okay, someone should explain the joke to Heather. <laughs> that's okay. If I miss anything, uh, Amber will tell me after. That's not a problem. So now there's this little piece here too, but I don't know if it's gonna, if it's even big enough to stay. So what do you guys think? Should I, in the pause? So not dangling, but more in the pause. So let me just see what we can do about that. What if we bring it to the back? and then up. That's another idea. If we bring it to the back and then up, that's the issue is trying to get it to actually look right. So we're going to put this one in here and then we're going to put the cap again. And then it kind of looks like it's in the pause when you bring bend it to the back a little bit and we can even push the nose back a little bit. So that's kind of cool. And then what we'll just do, let's keep it simple. I'm just gonna make a loop with the top, okay? So we're gonna do this. And minion top, I wish I was there with you. Oh, well, I'm having fun. My uh, my uh, desk is a little bit of a mess, but I do love doing in-person in um, workshops. So if any of you are in Montreal or near Montreal or Ottawa or even Toronto, I can organize a workshop in-person workshop where we work together because I love teaching. So it would be my pleasure if any of you are in Canada, not too far from me. I'm even going to be going out west at some point. So let me know and we can do an in-person workshop. So this is super cute, guys. Ah, oh my goodness. There we go. How cute is that? And that's thanks to you guys for all your amazing suggestions for the beads and stuff, so cool. Joke is people who can't focus or ADD like Sandra said. Oh, we'll say squirrel. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like shiny object syndrome, you're right. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about that with Miriam the other day about AD, ADD, ADHD and how it's diagnosed so frequently now, whereas like in my day, it was more like if you were, you were more cre cre uh, considered creative and um, and nobody ever heard of any kind of diagnoses whatsoever, but uh, I definitely work on a gazillion things at once. So here's Squirrel, adorable, thank you. So now let's do another one, guys. Actually, I wanna do the, the swirly one. So 
This one's adorable. And that would look super cute with flat wire too. So why don't we go ahead and do it, do it. And what, maybe a goal, um, I just don't know if I should do 18 gauge or a smaller gauge. I haven't quite decided. Um, because if we did 18 gauge, we could maybe flatten it a little bit too. So why don't I do a thicker wire? Mustafa, hello. And it's not your birthday anymore. Wah, sorry about that. We wished you a happy birthday last week though. That was awesome. That was super fun. I hope you had a great birthday. And birthdays are fun. I love birthdays. Yeah, I always celebrate my birthday and do something special. So I, there was one year I actually did a live stream on my birthday. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, there goes my AC. So I'm going to actually cool off a little bit. So let's try this little cutie guy. And we have to figure out where we're going to start. So let me also retrace it with my pencil. So it looks like we have three ends here. Hmm, how are we gonna do three ends with our wire? Unless we did more than one wire. So let's figure out how we're gonna do this with one wire. So if we did the, let me make sure I'm on screen here. So if we did the tail, so we'd go ahead and do the spiral tail type of thing. Zoop. And then we're gonna go around here and then we would do I kind of also like the idea of doing a foot. Like it doesn't have to be totally curved like this. Okay, so if you guys are wondering, this was the original. This is Canva clip art that is on, I have Canva Pro and there's all kinds of cool clip art. You could probably use it with regular Canva as well. You just might not be able to download it without a watermark. But um, so there's that idea just to keep it super simple. Like if we did around here and here, the one in the image is more like this type of thing with the f with that and then and then this oh maybe do it that way okay this is gonna work and we bring it around here and then that oh yeah that way and then this way and then we can come back down here and do that so that way that would be like um, just one piece of wire so the other thing we could do is Bring it around, around here and back. I kind of like the idea, see if it's gonna work. If we do like, mm -hmm. I don't know if we would need like a little end like that. I might not do that little end. We can just see, we're gonna go like, what if we came like right around here and did a kind of a foot thing might be interesting. And then here, and then up that way, and then here, and then up that way, and then here, and then this way, and that way. I kind of like that with the foot. You guys let me know what, what you like, because I kind of like the way it's looking with the foot here if we brought this one around and but maybe we would even need like a little jog there might be interesting so let me know what what direction i should go with that and foot yes awesome let's do it okay so now i'm going to remove that and i am going to get my pliers here and here and we are going to, oh, I cut the wire way too long, but see, la vie. Bring. why don't we start with the foot? So we're gonna bring this one down here and we can get our flat pliers. And I'm gonna also try to like hammer it as well. I have my rolling mill, but if it's too thick, it won't fit in my rolling mill because half of my rolling mill has lines for um, wire, but I could always hammer it. So we're gonna bring this one across. Not sure how big it should be, but like I said, I'm gonna do templates for these. So once they're done and I'm happy with them, we can. I will actually put the templates in the Etsy DIY shop. But 
I want to make sure that the designs work first. We're going to bring this one around here, just following the paper over here, up here, and trying to get the shape proper because it really, you know, but just even little tweaks in the shape make a big difference. Like the foot could have been bigger, definitely could have been bigger. I don't know if there's a way to change that now. We can like pull it back a little bit. Sometimes you could pull it back a little bit just to like tweak it. Depending on the quality of wire, it might, you know, work out. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just not sure how big I want to do that. So this, and I'm not necessarily like want to make it exactly the same size, but I do want to get the shape pretty good. So we're going to bring that one there up and the paw is going to be quite stylized. So now I'm going to just take this and bend it down. And if you want a more sharp bend, you just like down and bend it a bit more and then back down again. So that's how you get like a sharper bend with the 18 gauge wire. It's a little tricky to get a good sharp bend. Now he looks a little bit like a seal, but we're going to do what we can with it. And I actually could have made this paw cuter if I wanted to, like maybe more like a, I was just going with the original design, but like if you wanted to do it more a cuter paw, you could kind of go like that and then maybe do like that kind of paw too. So, so there's all kinds of like, if you want to make this more curved, you can do it like that too. So there's all kinds, like you could do that type of design or that type of design. It really, it's totally up to you guys what you want to do and this is just these live streams kind of give you the basic idea because now I'm really not loving that but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see oh my goodness so now we're gonna bring this one around here and I am going to take that bring it around and then we're going to do the uh, ear yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably redo this one, but just to give you a, an idea of, you know, design, we'll just go with it. Now, same thing, we can just wiggle it around until we're happy with it. Bring this one around and around. Oh, he's cute though. So now, and then let's just get going with the tail. We're going to bring that one around. So this would be, can make it a little bit more style. Uh, elongated if you want so like that depends on how chubby you want them and then if you want to do that spiral da, 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 this is our little trick for doing spirals it's our ring cone um, there is uh, I had these in my Amazon affiliate shop too I will link those up in the description and my favorite way to make spirals is just to take the cone Go around like a few times like that. And then we clip it. And then we are going to foot fetish. Ha ha ha. I used to make foot earrings for a guy that um, his friend quote unquote had a foot fetish. So I used to make him a bunch of foot earrings to give to his friend. Friend. So that was interesting. That was like 30 years ago. Interesting experience. He was like a doctor from France and he lived, uh, he was in living in Montreal temporarily uh, on a work contract. So there we go. I always meet interesting people in Montreal. So there, it's a little spiral. He's a little chubby. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I'm going to try to flatten this too. So there's, um, little squirrely and now we want to do tail so we're going to bring this one around kind of follow the curve of this and then bring that one around here there we go uh, maybe it should have more kind of gone down more to the ground level if we can I'm going to bring it more down to the ground level this we can adjust a little bit and then bring this one up here yeah doesn't have to be perfect so around here and then how high up do we want to do it like around here I guess ah, just playing with this a little bit 
wiggling it around. And then now we can do the other spiral. Hi, Natalie and Mrs. Hello, hello. And now we are going to take this and do our spiral with our cone, my favorite way to do spirals, around there. So, looks cool, eh? And then all you have to do is clip it there. And then we are going to close up that little loop. Close it up around there. And flick of the wrist, bring it in and push it down. So this, and then if it gets kinked like that, it just was a little uneven, you can adjust it. This wire is very forgiving. This is the artistic wire. This is the wire I always use, and it's made by Beetleon, and Beetleon are sponsoring wire, uh, live wires for the wind. So as I said at the beginning of the video, applications are now available to participate in live wires for the wind, and I'll be doing a trailer video, a call to entry video for that coming up tomorrow. So look out for that, but you guys have the inner scoop on that. So you can go ahead and apply if you wanna participate in this six week elimination series. So there's our little cute squirrel guys. And I definitely would like to um, flatten that one, but I don't think I wanna hammer it. I will put it through the rolling mill after the live stream and post a picture of it so you guys can see what it looks like hammered. And then now I'm gonna show you what we made today and I'll bring them up close as well. So I am going to put them on a piece of paper, bring them up closer to the screen so you can see them. And then I'm also gonna to try to do an acorn after that has some um, wire on it. Like, I don't even know if I have any, I think maybe for the acorn, I would need a, bead that's a little more like ovally type of thing. And I don't think I have any, let me just see if I have any offhand, but I don't think I have any of that type of bead, but what I'm gonna do that after the live stream, I'm gonna see what I have so I don't waste you guys time. And then we'll go from there. So here is what we made so far, like today. So you guys let me know which one you like the best. I'll bring it up to the screen so you can see it. And there are our, are they centered? Let me just see if they're centered. There we go, that's better. That little like, acorn is precious, <laughs> yay. They're all so cute, nice. Try this, the spiral squirrel, 18 gauge. Yes, so that, it's 18 gauge. And uh, you like the middle one, oh, thank you. So, yeah, so I'm gonna try to uh, press that one after the live stream. And then I'll post more pictures in the community section so you guys can see. I'm going to just come around and flip the screen and say goodbye. And we will wish everybody a great afternoon. I just have to flip my screen. Uh, just see which way. There we go. Perfect. Good. So bye, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for hopping on the live stream. Thank you, uh, Amber and Mustafa, for always uh, moderating the chat. I don't think we saw Clarice today, but Clarice is always moderating the chat as well, and I really appreciate it. I'll post pictures of these in the community section, and if you guys want to share uh, pictures of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. It's a great group. We have like 12,000 members now, and everybody's sharing their beautiful work. We have people of all levels, so if you're a true beginner, some people post... Uh, the things, the very first pieces, wire uh, jewelry pieces they've ever made in that group, and it's amazing. And so everybody's very supportive. Be sure to join the group and um, share your work. Uh, just when you join, you have to answer all the entry questions uh, to be approved because we don't allow any selling or uh, self-promotion or anything like that. So be sure to check that out uh, and apply for Live Wires for the Win. It's the, in the pinned comment. Uh, in the chat, the uh, call for entry video is coming tomorrow. If you want to participate in the six week elimination challenge, it's kind of like American Idol of wire art and jewelry making. So you guys be sure to join. 
Uh, if you're watching the replay of this, like even two years from now, uh, so, some of the links are, are no longer valid for those competitions, but I do it every year. So look out for it, get on my mailing list, uh, and all, all the information is in the description of the video. And have an amazing day, an amazing night, good sleep, good morning, whatever time of day it is, and see you guys next time. Bye!